Welcome to the fourth episode of TVLF. Many people have been asking what TVLF means. TVLF simply means lab forensic. So in my subsequent video, I was talking about the secret behind the Ghana card. I established the fact that the Ghana card will be used by intelligence agencies so that they can help to prevent crime in such a way that it will aid them since the fingerprint is unique to everyone, even with identical twins, it has been confirmed. So today we'll be talking about the myths or the misconceptions people have about forensic science. So in Ghana here, mostly people have this misconception that um, forensic science is always used in criminal investigation, which is not true. Actually, it's not, you, can only, you cannot only use forensic science only in criminal investigations, but also when it comes to the paternity issues. Um, someone impregnated their girlfriend but failed to take the, uh, the paternity rules. So what you want to find out, if you're a lady, you want to find out that the child really belongs to him, the forensic science can help so that we can conduct a DNA. So the DNA, we have um, the PCR, that's a polymerized chain reactions. So that was to do that, the, that technique called the PCR, that's a polymerized chain reaction. What you do is that you make it, you make a copy and you replicate it long so that we can cast it open and find out and compare. So when they, they are similar, using the principle of comparison in forensic science, we compare and find out all oh, this child belongs to you. We can establish that we can confirm that this is this child belongs to you. And also, people have this also misconception also that um, the DNA can only, only be when the child is being born. It is a very big lie. If you are pregnant, so we can find out whether the child belongs to the father or if we can find the father of the child. So, <laughs> and also, people have this misconception that um, fingerprint is found everywhere please the fingerprint is not found anywhere it's just found on surfaces so the surface that's where you can find the fingerprints and the fingerprints you have types you have two types the latent fingerprints and the patent fingerprints so the latent fingerprint is the one that can be seen with the naked eye but the latent one you can't be you can't see to naked eye so we also talk uh, the fact that people have this um, also this misconception that um a single forensic science collects Analyze and examine all the physical evidences. Um, this is, is very mendacious, seriously, because during a um, crime scene investigation, we have a leader, and the leader to the have team. In the team also, we have sub teams. So the leader will establish that this person should collect the evidence, this person should also preserve it. So this part, one yes, collecting, people have to search and bring evidence to them and also have to preserve them because some evidence are transient evidence. So talk about a transient evidence, the evidence that can be great or disappear with time. Example is the temperature. Outdoor. So this one's the temperature, for instance, when we go establish a right that this at the time, this is the temperature you took it. It, should, it might be different in a different um, temperature. We also give a different result. So you have to establish I took this particular measurement during um, 35 degrees Celsius. Temperature this was we have to establish, you have to put it down, otherwise the work would be some cause. So in the court. The defense lawyers, some are very, very smart and don't think uh, they, will, they will destroy your, your career for you. And also, um, forensic science, like within a few hours to time, um, crime seen by the, um, crime encountered by the forensic science is being solved within that shortest period of time, please. It's not done that way. Actually, when there is a, a crime, I mean, um, crime like, Man's daughter, murder, homicide. These cases sometimes can take even 15 years for them to unravel and find the real perpetrators of the crime. And also, people have this misconception that for instance, we make judgment. Please don't have we don't make judgment. What we do is that we do our findings, we find out who are the causes, the suspect, we find all this and link it and establish that oh this person might. But we don't say that the person did it. So people have this misconception that they that pronounce judgment. So during this famous OJ Simpson case, the consensual double killer, double murder case. So the defense lawyer for um, OJ Simpson was um, Johnny L. Kakro. This man was a very a powerful defense lawyer and he established that he stood before the, the juries and told them that if it doesn't fit, then it must acquit in such a way that the detective at that time established the fact that OJ Simpson wore that glove to murder his ex-wife. So if that, they have to bring that same size of that glove and the same company with the same size. So OJ Simpson was trying to well and it was not going through. So the judge have to acquit him. So the judge is the one that have the rights and the mandate to 
make sense to convert and to also accredit. Subscribe, share, comment, and like this video. And also, don't forget to hit the notification button to get the next episode of my video. Thank you.